Hey, what's going on guys? It is Sniper Pigeon again, and this time I wanted to do something a little bit different in Ghost Recon. I wanted to show you uh, what, in my opinion, is, is the best gun in, in several different categories. Now, it's not going to be every category. For example, shotguns, I can't stand them in this game. I just don't like them. I mean, they're, they're fun for like five minutes, but I wouldn't raid an entire base with it. it. To me, it's just not feasible at all, especially with the game is designed to be more stealth and stuff anyways. It's kind of silly. But, I digress. Anyways, since I already have it out, we're going to look at this rifle right here that you can see this is the g28 and in my opinion this g28 right here is the best semi-auto sniper rifle in the game it's not it doesn't have the exactly best stats in the semi-auto category but it i believe it's the one that shoots the fastest and it's great with the g28 scope which has the uh the red dot on top and then of course the five times zoom on the bottom with some bullet drop compensation if you uh, get into it like that. Like right now I'm doing about a 600 meter shot and then you could time it out pretty well that it's three dots down exactly. And then of course you can alternate that to the red dot and then do the same thing for close range. And it shoots very fast and as an example, I mean, it's 13 shots right there with reasonable accuracy. Granted of course that's very close range. So, again that is uh, in my opinion the best in the semi-auto sniper rifle. Now on the other side of that um, I have two favorites in the bolt action category. They'd be the MSR and then the HTI. But the HTI, when you have it in the uh, Tier 1 system, it would definitely be the Desert Tech one. That's pre-built, so you can't really you can't do anything but do the damage upgrade with the uh, Tier system. But uh, on that note, I would still pick the HTI regardless uh, and the MSR. But the MSR, you can see, has slightly more range, rate of fire, and penetration stuff, which is great especially compared to the Desert Tech HDI. On the flip side of that, it's a small cost and accuracy. Now, me personally, if I had a stupid amount of uh, resources and I didn't have to spend them on skills, um, even though I'm kind of getting close to that point where I don't need to, I would specifically pick the MSR, and I would just keep upgrading the damage until it's comparable to the HDI, because right now I can't exactly one-hit a helicopter using this MSR like I can with any of the HDIs now. Granted, I like how the MSR looks way cooler anyway. So, somewhere down the line, the MSR would definitely be, you know, elite compared to this. So, it's pick your poison between the two. If you have the MSR now and you love it, just stick with it. But keep in mind, HCI can one-hit vehicles, and it's great. Makes everything ten times easier. On the light machine gun category, I already have this one out as well. This is the MK249. And I believe it's also known as the Saul in the Army today. Now, if I was to go over here into light machine guns, I already have it equipped, of course. I haven't upgraded it at all using the tier system because I don't typically use light machine guns. However, just looking at some of the stats, the uh, Lamativo right here, it's slightly better handling and penetration, but eh. And let's see, the Albaston is much worse. 6P41, to me, the penetration isn't worth all the extra handling, rate of fire, noise reduction I'm losing. Type 95 is just almost worse on all the important stuff across the board. I don't really want to silence light machine gun that just seems silly to me and same reason against the stoner I don't really care for a silent light machine gun if I bust it out it's because shit going crazy so again the uh, MK249 which also on that note shoots uh, very fast being a machine gun in that category and sounds pretty cool in my opinion so good amount of rounds just left right there as well so switching over again back to the shotgun I don't really like any of them I still haven't beat El Sueño to get this one anyways, but to me, same thing as the machine gun, or the light machine gun, a silent shotgun kind of seems you know, stupid to me as well uh, in this game. And sniper rifles, very, very popular category. Now on the submachine gun, I really only have one favorite, and I'm sure you can guess the one that it is, because it's the only one that I even bothered upgrading once, and that is the Chris Vector. It's the 45 caliber, uh, 45 ACP submachine gun. Uh, it... I have the extended magazines, and I'll show you exactly my build on it right now. This is exactly what I use extended bus stock comp for the full and semi trigger, 25 round mag, the V4 foregrip, laser three dot, regular barrel, and then a suppressor. And I only keep it suppressed because if I use this, it's a submachine gun. It's meant for short range. This is kind of your running into a uh, a base or something very close to maybe medium range, maybe 100 meter uh, shots with this. And then, yeah, I mean, once you hit that 100 to 120 meter part, this thing starts getting to be a, a pain in the butt to use. So, uh, next up in the category, after the Chris Vector, which is definitely good. And as soon as I land, I'll actually do some shot, shots with this, so I'll work on that right now. 
Okay, not really a target except this. And I'm just doing the... Alright, this is an over-the-shoulder shot. Now, the handling on this thing is not the greatest. This is one of those guns, in my opinion. It's great in short bursts, and you can take out some good amount of troops using the short burst method, but if you're going to go full auto with it like this, I mean, unless you're moving yourself, it's kind of... Eh, it's mediocre in that, that form, which again, is submachine guns, I don't use that often either. I'm more of an assault rifle and a sniper rifle combo guy, which I'll get to now in the assault rifle category which is the main category that I like to, to dab around with. I have two that I really like to use. Um, and that would be the G2 due to, it, due to its extra rate of fire and you know range of penetration. And then the M4 uh, for the, the damage increase and the noise reduction. So if I want to do something more silent but still have really good range with it, I would pretty much use the, the M4 over anything. And uh, of course, I have something very similar in real life in AR-15. So it's something very cool to me for that reason. But the G2, I definitely like more for the uh, for the handling noise reduction that you, or I'm sorry, for the range and rate of fire, and it's uh, definitely noticeable when you when you're shooting the two. And then I won't, I don't want to say, it, I think it takes like two, maybe three shots on a heavy to kill them just on regular body shots versus you know the the M4, which I think it takes. I mean, it, the M4 still takes two shots, but it's it's enough of a difference, especially when you're base rating. But this scope combination, and again, I'll show my stats on the uh, G2, or my, my parts. The underbarrel, actually, don't really, I'm not a huge fan of the grenade launcher and on anything. I figure that's the, the purpose I carry the sniper rifles for. So this would be, yep, this would be my exact uh, setup for it, for the G2. Uh, scope, of course, just whatever flavor you like. Full and semi, extended 30 round mag, the V44 grip, standard barrel, and the V2 comp if you got it. V2 comp's always better. So definitely do that. I'm going to just do one upgrade. Just mark that down. Okay, perfect. And then, back in the M4 category, it's only level 4, so its damage isn't massively different compared to the G2. But it's uh, it's noticeable. There's, there's extra two levels. I mean, it's a very small fraction with the G2's uh, differences. And of course, now that you see that I got the proper grip one there, the G2 seems much better than the M4 with the damage and the noise reduction really being the only somewhat significant differences. And with the tier system out, you can upgrade the G2 to where it has more damage than the M4 anyways. So it's like, why not even do that? Then you only got to worry about the silence, silencing being the only difference, which if you're using an assault rifle silenced anyways, it's kind of the same thing. You're, you really get an assault rifle over a submachine gun for the damage and range versus the silence capabilities. So again, this is a uh, Kind of long-winded. I'm trying to keep this short. But, uh, so yeah. The G2 M4 favorite assault rifle. Just to recap, the MK249 or SAW for the late machine gun in that category is definitely being the favorite. Just going to mark that with a damage upgrade. And the submachine gun, I prefer the Vector 45 ACP. Also, you could use the P90. I find it to be very, very inaccurate. But I guess if you're room clearing and stuff, it's not too bad. The same with the MP7. Uh, room clearing and all that wouldn't be too bad, but it's still vector, vector or nothing for me. And then the Desert Tech HTI over all sniper rifles. But if you're going to be doing something close range and you want something semi, G28 or go home. Shotgun, I don't use. If you like them, good for you. I don't, but I guess if I had to pick one, it would strictly be Spaz 12 just because of everything else being very crappy. Just in pure, like, stats looking at that wise. Yeah, that, that's about it. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Just wanted to do a quick weapons overview of my personal favorite picks and everything. So if you're trying to figure out what weapon you want to try next or what combination, I always do a sniper rifle in my number two category since I play on PC, which, again, is always the Desert Tech HDI. So even though it's kind of backwards and it's my number one. And then in my... Number one category, I either have the G2, which is what I'm going to switch to now, or the uh, M4A1. So, my main loadout is these two. My drone is always EMP when I play in single player. If I play in multiplayer, the, the one that I always pick is the Medic. I don't really worry about EMPing. I'm more of a stay far away with my two weapons and, and heal you type. And then for handguns, I, I go between the, the D50, or the Desert Eagle, and the 5.7 from uh, FN. Uh, 5.7 just for the silence capabilities and the fact that I think the magazine one is like 30 freaking rounds or something. 
Yep, it's a 30 round extended mag on it when you do get it, and it's 20 round normal. And I mean, if you don't mind the extra difference in handling, which is barely noticeable anyways in the pistol, then everything else on this just, yeah, it's, it's a great, great gun. And uh, for noise reduction wise, it's pretty decent for what it is. And in terms of the D50, the only difference in these two being the damage. Clearly, if you look at the stats now, the Desert Eagle is only better in damage. Everything else sucks compared to the 5.7. Uh, but if you're using the D50 for damage anyways, and I'm assuming you're either using it on a heavy, close range, which is kind of stupid to begin with, to use the pistol versus anything else. Or you're trying to shoot a vehicle and you just happen to run out of ammo on a quick switch. But again, that's kind of silly to me too. So, and in terms of pistols, it's pretty much 5.7 or go home for me. So it's always, it's always these two, the, the sniper rifle and the handgun combination are always in all of my, my weapon uh, builds. And then again, the drone the EMP for single player and medic for multiplayer. Um, of course, if one of your teammates gets shot down, you don't want to be all up on them trying to revive them unless you clear the area. Because nine times out of 10, I play on extreme anyways. And, you never want to be in the same zone as somebody else as they're getting murdered. Or the same, you know, couple of meters. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up on my picks. So this is Sniper Pigeon, and thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to see more content like this in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And I will see you guys in the next one. And leave this video a like, and I'll make some more stuff just like this for you. All right, thanks, guys.